like get ready with me. I'm just going out to get some drinks with friends um, in like two hours. So I'm gonna curl my hair and, um, and sorry, like I, the back of this camera was like facing out the window. I think this guy thought I was filming him. Sorry, sir. Anyway, um, I am going to curl my hair and then do my makeup and I'm just gonna keep like my bare face while I curl my hair and then um, just show you how I do it. It's, I literally brush out my hair, um, use a very small curling wand. I don't know exactly what the dimensions on this is. Like you can see it's it's small like for someone with long hair and it's kind of actually annoying because my hair like the longer it gets I feel like I can't wrap it all around it. Like it's almost too short. Like I wish there was a longer version of this which there might be. I just haven't looked into it. And it's just the hot tools hot tools one. So um, I'm gonna do that and um, I do it in the middle part. I curl away from my head the whole time, doing like fairly small um, strands and um, I'll take you along as I do that and then check in with you later. Okay, so like I said, I am just going to brush my hair out um, and I have like roughly middle part right now that's good enough. Um, so I'll just grab my regular brush. I have like one of these paddle brushes. I really don't think it matters. It, this one I just like because it's easy to brush through. I'll just pull on the side of the front, let it work on this side. Um, and then I'll fast forward this so that you aren't watching the whole thing like second by second. But um, like I said, I'm just gonna take the curling wand, curl away from my face like this the whole way back. And eventually I'll be pulling through it with like a wide tooth comb if I can get into my roommate's room because she has it in her room and it's hers. So we'll see if I can get that. <laughs> I normally use the number five, which I think is pink, but like I haven't seen that in any of the like CVS stores. So. Why not? I kind of like to, when I do my hair, have it last like at least two days because, or else it's annoying to do it every day. I'm just like not that good about it. So hopefully this will stay. But now time to do makeup. So first I'm just gonna clip back my hair. Just like get it slightly out of my face, but I don't want it to ruin my curls. Um, and then my first step is to do my primer. I like to do like liquid things for the most part because it makes like my skin look brighter. And I use this one, the Glam Glow, um, which one? Glow Starter. But like pretty much all of their primers work. So we open it up, it has like this little stopper thing. And then I just take like a little finger out and 
put it on my skin. You really don't need a lot, it goes pretty far. It's a little sensitive here. Why? I don't know. Um, I'm also not someone who uses beauty blenders, like, at all. And it would probably be helpful, but like, I've just like, every single time I've tried it, I haven't seen like, a clear, um, like, better result. So I just like, don't bother using it because like, I'm feeling like, Every time I use it, it like absorbs so much makeup and like waste my makeup and I can just wash my hands like before and after. So I do that. And then for my foundation, I've like gone through a bunch of different ones over the years, but um, for a while now I've been using this BB cream. It's the Physician's Formula and do they have it in only one color? I don't even know. This is light and medium. So I just used a teeny bit of that. Again, it goes a long way. And like literally just that much because I only like use it to slightly even out my skin. Like I don't want every single one of my freckles hidden. I don't want to look like a completely different like shade of human. Um, I just wanted to like slightly even out the redness. And I feel like this does a really good job at that and it's like so dewy looking at the end like I don't like the cakey foundations um just because like I have skin that works pretty well with um works pretty well with non like powders and stuff I only use powders for like my blush and my bronzer and my, I don't even know what you call that one, the finishing powder, um, but even for the bronzer, like I'm kind of open to having like a liquid bronzer, I feel like that'd be really cool, I just don't have one, but maybe I'll think of that. So, now that that's on, um, my skin looks pretty much the same, and This is my concealer. Again, CVS True Match. Um, this color is again Fair to Light. And I like this one because it's liquid again. Like I just really, really like the look of liquid things. I think it keeps my skin looking dewy as opposed to cakey. But I know everybody's skin is like extremely different with how it reacts. So I think kind of a lot. basically the whole area under my eye because I like the look of this part of my skin looking so much lighter than the rest of it. Um, and this is one that probably would work really well with a beauty blender, but again, like I just don't really use that and maybe I should, but I'm kind of like constantly like evolving with my whole makeup routine. I don't like to spend a ton of time doing it, but I do like it to look good when I do do it. So I've been struggling with like making my eyes pop in makeup. I just feel like every time I do my eye makeup and like I'm actually wearing like mascara, like you can't even tell. Like you can't tell that I'm wearing makeup versus when I'm like not wearing my makeup and that's kind of annoying to me. So I actually just bought a lash serum because I was watching uh, a YouTube and this girl had like the most voluminous lashes and she said she uses that lash serum every day and I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it. So when I get it, I'll take you all on the journey of seeing if it works or not and hopefully my lashes actually grow. So that's it. I do a little bit around my nose because I hate when it's red and um, all under my eyes. Yeah, so then the next step is to do a little bit of the concealer, or not concealer, contouring. I use this contouring stick, but let me just make sure you guys are recording. 
Yes. So, um, by the way, the majority of my makeup is from like CVS slash like Walgreens or whatever, but I do have key stable products that are from Sephora that like I just feel like they're better quality and I'd rather spend a little bit of extra money in order to get them there. But this is another one that is CVS. So this is the NYX um, Wonder Stick. I only really use one side. So maybe I'll use the other side for kicks and giggles right now. So I just do the right and left side of like, what do you call this, the bridge of my nose. And then a teeny line under my nose. And then when I rub this in, it will give it a little bit of like a contour. And then here, I do a line. And again, like I don't do this for me every day. Like I would never do this for like, just having a day of makeup, it's just too much. But because I'm going out, I want to look a little bit, I don't know, more makeup. Um, yeah, so you know what, for kicks and giggles, let's use this. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a pale thing right here on my nose. Final whole day. this maybe at CVS it's like one of these brushes it's very thick um, but this will help me blend it in I go up and down kind of here in the corners this is like helping to get that like bronzy look and again like it's a bar so it's like kind of smooth and like liquidy and buttery as opposed to like a cakey I try and keep it like pretty much in the line See how like this looks a little bit darker now? Take that. And then here, I'm only gonna go down with it, like and kind of like back and forth. In order to keep it kind of in the area I want it to be in. And then this, I'll probably just use my finger. Not bad. I kind of like that. Not a big difference, but I can use that again in the future. Vibing. Um, all right, next step will be my bronzer. Probably my second step, let's be honest. But okay, this is the uh, Marc Jacobs. Can you see that? Yep, yeah, Marc Jacobs. Um, Omega Bronze. Can you tell? I don't know, anyway. Coconut Perfect Tan. So I think it's like basically one of their really light ones. Um, and I generally like to use this one like when I'm not doing an event or something because it just like is a nice lighter color. And as you can tell, I'm like 100% out of it. My only thing that I really disliked about this bronzer is that it cracked like a month into using it and it was like hollow underneath. And I was like, all right, I paid a lot of money for this bronzer, so don't cheat out. And then I just put on those same points that I used that contour stick and then a little bit around my neck and then I just like blend it into the rest of my body. Cause nobody likes when your face and your body look completely different. It just don't look good. So that's that part. Um, sometimes when I'm going for like an extra kind of like tanned look, I'll use my Hula, Hula bronzer, and I'll just go along these points in order to um, kind of like accentuate the cheekbones, but I'm feeling like I look tanned enough, so we're good. Next, what will I use next? Maybe I'll start on the eyeballs. This is that thing I'm struggling with, so I might have a little bit of fun here. Normally, all I do is mascara and then some like eyeshadow, kind of like lined almost along the bottom of my eyes in order to like make them look a little bit brighter, but I might do eyeliner today in order to just see if it gets me anywhere. I always feel like it really changes like how I look, so I don't do it like on a day-to-day -day basis because like it's very obvious, but maybe I'll do it today. Okay, 
This is an eyeshadow primer, like the cheapest one. It's legit from Forever 21. But it's the job done, right? So I'm going to put a dot of that on. I actually do feel like it makes a difference though because it makes your eyelids look a lot dewier. And I'm just going to you know, pat that in. I find that if you do use this, it's better to work quickly afterward because then your eyeshadow definitely stays stronger and looks a little bit brighter. And then this is just a Sephora like brush. That's the ends. And I'm using the Sweet Peach Too Faced palette. Wow, guys, I am so sorry about the videography quality. It's just not the strongest. I'm gonna go in with like a very light color and a pink um, here along my shot, my eyelids. But like, I literally don't really follow a particular head of things. I just like to do like light pinks because I feel like it looks really good with fair skin. Um, like, especially with my skin tones, like, I just find that pink does the most. So I use like this very light pink kind of for the majority of the lid. And then for the rest, I'll go in with like kind of like a, almost like a, um, I don't even know, like a shinier pink, like a deeper shinier pink. And I'll go in on just the outside. So it pops a little bit more. And it just looks pretty. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that's what I want, right? So now, oftentimes what I do is I take a dark color of this eyeshadow with like a very thin angle brush and I'll go along here, but that hasn't really been working well for me. So I'm gonna do um, a pencil and do some eyeliner. So I have these two. I have this e.l.f. one. Oh. In coffee. And the still one, that's like the male type favorite. And dark brown. And I'm gonna take the still one and go along my upper hand. Alright, so that's the upper. I just go slightly further out so it's like a little wing. And then I'm gonna use the Stella wand slightly a little more. Just on the outside edges. Yeah. So like you can tell, it makes a difference. It's kind of a lot. Kind of too much. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. The only thing I use is this, another CVS product. Brow Ultra Slim and, is it a brand? Maybelline. Sorry, you might hear my roommates, but they're just having a good time. Okay. That's the eyebrows. We don't take too much time because it's pretty simple with this. Now I will use, actually I'm gonna use my finishing spray. So this is Laura Mercier, the finishing powder that I was talking about, um, translucent powder. And I'm just gonna barely do a little bit of this. Spray. 
That is Urban Decay one. I legit just started using an eyebrow or an eyelash curler last week and I swear I haven't seen a difference. I want to, but like do I have to hold it longer? I don't know. That's why I got the serum because I was like, I have good eyelashes, but okay, maybe this is my problem. I used the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara and it's always worked for me, but I don't think it's doing the job anymore. All right, that's it. So before I go, I will use, whatever you call that, um, lip gloss. Let's look. Let me take you all over here. Okay, much better light. Um, yeah, so you can see that this is like the finished product. Um, these are like the pink that I'm going for. Um, like I said, I'll probably use lip gloss like right before I go, but I feel like this day and dinner's like in an hour. So um, I'm not gonna put it on now and waste it, but and this is my hair. Um, and I'll check back in with you all once I pick an outfit also so yeah thanks for following along if you have any questions let me know and i'll make sure to answer them for you i know it wasn't like super in-depth and probably horrible filming maybe i should do it here next time i probably should i'm not even positive if you guys can see me but we'll figure that part out later thank you so much see you in a few minutes all right here is the dilemma i'm feeling like a 70s girl like i have these like flare jeans but then this is also kind of loose also it's cold out another another problem to overcome I am. <laughs> yeah you have to it's reality. all right i am on my way well i'm still in the um parking spot but i'm about to go to um the seaport to get drinks at Lolita's and um, maybe some queso because I love queso. Uh, but yeah, I ended up going with the 70s look because why not have a little fun with it? And this feels like the last few days of warmth and I just wanted to wear a tank top before I have to wear like turtlenecks and sweaters and jackets and all of that. But I did bring my pink um, jean jacket in case I get cold. So. We'll see how it goes. Talk to you all soon. Look how beautiful well, the sun is. It's so nice. All right, just arrived. Um, I was really nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to find parking because it's um, like a very busy area and it's like mostly like a walking area. So I was like, I'm definitely not gonna be able to find parking. But I did and um, there's actually a lot of it. I mean, COVID, so that, oh God, why do I always say that pandemic? Oh my God, why is this such a long thing? Situation in the world right now. So now I'm trying to find my lip gloss and so I can walk to the restaurant. And here it is. This is like one of those lip plumper ones. Uh-huh. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Okay, actually, I think I might just end the vlog here. Um, I did like the whole get ready with me thing and I did my hair and I did my makeup for you all. And, you know, like I said, this is kind of like a look that I could wear in my day-to-day -day life toned down a little bit or going out to dinner with friends. And it's really good for people with like fairer skin, but I mean, I'm sure anybody who can like wear this as well. Like, I just like it because it has like the pink undertones and kind of like the dewy glossy look that at least I try and go for and I've had a hard time perfecting like 
having paler skin. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll end it here, but um, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. It truly does support my channel and allows me to do more video and more content for you all. Um, and feel free to comment and say things that you wanna see or questions you have or whatever it is. I love all suggestions and comments and I am like happy to hear them and take them. So um, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm trying to post every three days. So. Um, my last one I posted yesterday. I'll probably just post this one tomorrow and then post again in a few days. And sorry also for not posting kind of like my grocery haul. I just ended up not going today and um, I was able to like make do with what I had. And since I'm going out to dinner, I was like, it's just not necessary. So um, maybe I'll do that later this week, but currently just working with what I have in the fridge and I'll see what I do with you all for the next video. But again, thank you so much for walk watching. Um, um, like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and I will talk to you all soon. Thank you. Bye